Hello guys! Happy Monday! I'm so excited to start our writing project for today. We have been working so hard on our informational reports about our animals, and today is the day where we get to show off everything that we have been learning and how we have become experts on our animal. I've learned so much over the past couple of weeks about the bottlenose dolphin, and it's been exciting to be able to go out on the boat and to see some of those dolphins in real life over the past few days. So, what you're going to do today is you are going to take everything that you have written, everything from your rough draft, everything that you've revised last week, um, and you are going to be typing it in a Google Doc and you can share that with me. Or you can handwrite it in pencil on a piece of paper and you can either upload the photo of your project to Seesaw or you can text a photo of your writing to me. It doesn't matter either way. But before I let you get started on publishing, I wanted to just go over what publishing is. I wanted to give you an acronym that can help you figure out what you need to look for while you're publishing to be able to make sure that it's the best that you can be because this is the one of the biggest days. It's one of the most important pieces where you get to show off what you've been doing and what you've been learning to show everybody that you are an expert in your animal. So we are in the last stage of the writing process today. So I want everybody to picture the giant pencil that we have above our classroom door that we look at during writing workshop. We are in the very last section. So publishing is when you wrap everything up and you tie all of the loose ends together to make it the best that it can be. When you publish, you are writing your piece for the final time. Your goal is to create a perfect piece of writing and to help you publish, think FLASH. So this is the acronym. So F stands for format. You should have three to five paragraphs. Okay, in this case, you have five paragraphs. Some of you have six paragraphs, all right? You have an introduction. We worked on your introduction last Monday. Then you have your three to four body paragraphs, in our case, about your subtopics that you've researched for your animal. And then you have your conclusion, which we worked on last week as well. So make sure you're including all of those paragraphs that you've been working so hard on. The L stands for looks. So if you want to, if you have extra time, you can include an illustration or a title page that is appealing to look at. So you could draw a picture of your animal if you'd like to, and you can add that to your writing. And that just makes it fun and exciting for your reader to see an illustration of your animal. For A, A means accuracy. So accurately copy your revised and edited draft to your final copy. So that basically means go back and just make sure you have everything right. Make sure you're including all of maybe the spelling mistakes that we had made where we fixed those. Make sure you're including capitalization, punctuation, all of the different things that you know I expect from you. Also, please make sure to read through it and make sure that it makes sense. Another thing that I've seen sometimes as I've been looking over your writing is we do sometimes have run-on sentences. Don't forget, a run-on sentence is when you keep going and going and going in your sentence and it just keeps going on forever. That's a run-on. So make sure you have punctuation where you need to have punctuation. S is for spacing. Make sure that there is even spacing between all of your words. Create an even margin on both sides if you are in Google Docs to make sure that it looks clean and nice. Some of you guys are even adding two spaces after a period. That's fine too. H is for handwriting. If you are working on this on a piece of paper with a pencil, please make sure you are using your neatest handwriting. You want to make sure that your reader can understand everything that you're saying because you are an expert. You have come up with vocabulary words. You've defined those words. And you want to make sure your reader can read those. And then also make sure your letters are appropriate sizes and shapes. So make sure if you have any proper nouns, if you have any letters at the beginning of a sentence, um, that you are capitalizing all of those things, okay? So today, i like for you to go ahead and get started on your publishing, and then please go ahead and send that to me today. I cannot wait to see the final copies. Happy writing, guys!